<laughs> when are we going back with the others? Pardon me? Quit with the pardon me. I want to go back with the others right now. I think that you're mistaken. Oh. What an adorable little sheep. You're so clean and white, aren't you? Whatever. Can you tell that mongrel shepherd to move his butt? I want to be with the other sheep. What do you mean, mongrel shepherd? This is Alfred, and he's not a shepherd dog. Of course he's a shepherd dog. Are you blind or what? I want to go with the others, now! Don't worry, Rita. It's obvious that this little sheep is lost and has me confused with her shepherd dog. Well, let's see. Have you lost your flock? No! I'm with the shepherd dog. It's the other sheep who are lost. But this isn't your shepherd dog. It's my Alfred. So is he your boyfriend or what? No, uh, he's, uh, he's... Rita is my friend. You don't have to explain anything to me. If you're in love, that's your business. I already said no! Your girlfriend has some temper. So will you take me to the others, or do I have to go alone? I would love to go with you, but right now I'm waiting for my friends to meet me so we can go and have some tea. Do as you like. I'll go alone. <laughs> Alfred, Rita told us that there's a lost sheep around here. That assumption is correct. The sheep went over that way. How could you let her go all alone? It's almost time for tea. But Alfred, she's lost and all alone. You have to go and help her. Where has the poor little thing gone? She must be so alone without her family. Now I feel awful for having let her go alone. The poor little thing. Look, she's over there under the tree. Are you all right, little sheep? It's about time. I've been waiting here for 10 minutes for that mongrel to lead me to the rest of the sheep. You're very mistaken. This <clears throat> mongrel, as you call him, is Alfred, and he's our friend. He is not your shepherd dog. That can't be. Then I'm... I'm lost! I will never see my family ever again. Somebody needs to comfort me. I'm so sad. Little sheep, we'll help you find them. Get away, Mongrel. This is all your fault. Don't worry. We'll help you get back to your family. Do you remember any particular place you went to every day? Now that I think about it, yes, I do remember. There's a place nearby with a river and a big pink rock. Well, I don't know where that is. Nope. Um, neither do I, Milo. I know exactly where that location is, but I don't think I want to help this sheep. She's been very unpleasant this whole time. I'm sorry, sweet mongrel. What I mean to say is, knight in shining armor, please guide me to my home and I will reward you with a great big kiss. Come on, Alfred, be nice to her. The poor thing's lost. All right, then. But don't expect me to accept one single kiss. Lead the way, Alfred. We'll all follow you. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. We've been walking for quite a while, and I don't see anything that looks familiar. Don't worry, Olga. We're almost there now. Are we there yet? We have reached our destination. What a beautiful place. And look at all the sheep. Yes, it's very pretty. Look, there's a dog coming this way. Who could it be? It's Alfreda. She's my shepherd dog. Huh? What? Alfreda? I've brought you all the way out here, and to top it all off, you call me Alfreda? Have you no shame? Alfreda is the dog who's coming over here, and she's a girl. Alfred, a little dog just like you. She could be your girlfriend, and you could get married and have little puppies. <laughs> ahem, ahem. Good afternoon, friends. I see that you've brought back my sheep. Thank you. You have all been very kind. They've been very nice to me, and I promised Alfred that I would reward him with a kiss. If you'd like, I can give him one. 
Which one is Alfred? He's the one sitting behind me, Lo. Good afternoon. It looks like they've fallen in love. How beautiful. There's really no need for reward. It has been my pleasure to help such a friendly and kind sheep find a way home. But... You must get rewarded every once in a while. It's not necessary, thank you. Okay, as you wish. At any rate, thank you, friends. I know you weren't interested in any reward, but you could have accepted the kiss, couldn't you? I'm a gentleman, and a gentleman doesn't accept kisses in exchange for anything. Even though it would have been nice to receive a kiss from such a lovely damsel. Psst, psst. <gasps> Do you have any idea what Mumu's doing? I have no idea, but she looks pretty confident, so she must know what she's doing. I think she wants us to play in the garden today. You know that Mumu always has some very strange ideas. Could be that she's painting the classroom a new color and took out all the chairs so that they wouldn't get stained. I don't think Mumu is planning on painting anything. You know how much she likes to play, <laughs> so I think she wants us to play something. But I don't know of any game that's played with chairs. I know how to play one that's really fun. You put a bunch of chairs in a circle, and everyone keeps going around them while the music plays. The moment the music stops, everyone sits down, and whoever is left without a chair gets eliminated. Then you take away another chair, and you play again until only one chair is left and two players remain. The winner is the one who's able to sit down. Wow, that sounds like fun. We can play the chair game today. Let's go talk to Mumu to see if she lets us play with her. Hi, Mumu. Why have you brought out all these chairs? Mm, I just felt like sitting in the garden. Is that it? You didn't bring them out to play with? Milo, chairs are only used for sitting down. You can't play with them. Unless you imagine that they're a car, or, or a plane, or... Well, we know of a really fun game to play with chairs. That's nice. So why are you telling me? Mumu, you've got five chairs in the garden, and we want to play the chair game with them. But I don't want to play anything. I just want to sit and enjoy the scenery. Whatever you like. You could at least let us sit here with you. All right, then. I wonder what Moomoo is doing with so many chairs next to each other. I'm sure she wants to play something. Well, I want to play with them, too. We can bring our own chairs to play with. Sounds like a good idea to me. I don't know where the other chairs are. I think Moomoo must have taken them all. I saw one just underneath the slide. Well, let's get it and go with them. Hello, friends. What are you playing? We're not playing anything. We're just sitting here catching a bit of sun. Well, how boring. I thought you'd be playing some game with the chairs. Rita. You cannot play with chairs. They're only used for sitting. You can't play with them. That's not exactly true, Moo Moo. I know a very fun game that you can play using chairs. Please teach us how the game is played. There are six of us, right? Well, you put five chairs in a circle and everyone goes around them while the music plays. The moment the music stops, everyone has to sit down and whoever is left without a chair gets eliminated. Then you take away another chair and you play again until only one chair is left and two players remain. The winner is the one who's able to sit down. That sounds like fun. Why don't we play that game? All right then, but it seems like a silly game and very boring. You'll see, Moo Moo. Once you start playing, you'll want to play again. Are we all in position? All right. Now remember, when the music plays, we all go round and round. But when it stops, 
We all have to sit down. The one who's left out will get eliminated. Okay, start the music! <laughs> Oh, what bad luck. I was left without a chair. I'm so slow. I kept on dancing with no music. Can we play it again? <laughs> <laughs> Today is a beautiful day, but it looks as though we're about to get hit with a strong wind. I don't know how you do it, but you're always able to predict the weather. We need to pick everything up before it starts blowing really hard. I'm not afraid of the wind. It's on the air. What harm could it do? Oh. It's already <laughs> starting to blow hard. I think it's better if we head home now. We'd better hurry, because it's only going to get worse. I'm going inside with the others. Come on, Mumu. Don't be so stubborn. Let's go home. I'm not afraid of anything, much less the wind. Come on, little breeze. Is that the best you can do? Go on. I want more wind. More, more, more! I see you feel like blowing today. But you're not going to beat me. I'm Mumu, the super cow. I'm almost there, just a little further. This wind has no chance against me. Oh! Oh! Ow! 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 What is this strange thing? Could they be pieces of wood? It looks like a beaver's home. No, no, it's a nest that fell from a tree and broke apart. And what might these be? They look like oval-shaped white rocks. Oval-shaped like an egg. No, no, they're not rocks, but bird eggs. Am I a bird? What am I doing here? Is this my nest? I can't believe it. My nest is all broken. This is my nest. My eggs, my family, no! Hey guys, now listen to me carefully. The wind has done something terrible. My nest fell to the ground and it broke apart. My babies, my little birdies, have been left without a home. It's a tragedy. Please, someone help me. But Mumu, you know that you're a cow and you don't have a nest, do you? My children, please help me. She must have hit her head a bit too hard. She is all confused. Come on, let's go see what happened. What a disaster! The nest broke apart and the eggs are all over the ground. We're lucky that none of them cracked. We need to pick them up and make a new nest for poor Mr. Bird. What do you mean, Mr. Bird? This is my nest and you need to help me. Moo, you took a blow to your head and you think you're a bird. But Moo, you're really a cow. 
Now we need to help make a new nest for Mr. Bird so that his eggs can hatch. Let's get to work, friends. We need to collect branches. Oh, look! What are you doing? Mumu, we're collecting branches to help make a new nest for Mr. Bird. So who's going to help me build my nest? But Mumu, you are a cow. What would you need a nest for? The wind has destroyed my nest and nobody's going to help me build it. I thought you were my friends. Mumu, the wind damaged Mr. Bird's nest, not yours. You don't have a nest. Well, since nobody's going to help me, no worries. I'll do it myself. <laughs> I'm going to build the biggest and most beautiful nest that ever existed. See you later. Here's one. Look, look, yes, and another one. This one's mine. I've got a lot of them, but I need a few more. No, not a few more. I need a lot more. Now I think we have enough to make a nest. Put a branch right here. Yes, yes, that's good. Ah, uh, I hope this is the way it goes. It turned out to be a masterpiece. Mr. Bird will be very proud of his new nest. Now, we've got to put it where it belongs. Talalo, can you go put it up in the tree? Now I've got a beautiful nest, but it's missing something here. For a nest to be a nest, it needs eggs. I'm going to try to lay an egg. Mm, this is really difficult, but I need to find some eggs. Look, right there on the ground, I see two giant white rocks. Where could Moomoo be? Well, I don't see her anywhere. Chirp. Huh? Chirp. Oh. <laughs> chirp, 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 chirp. Hey, Moo Moo, what are you doing way up there? Come down from there right now. When the wind starts blowing again, you'll be sent flying. Chirp, chirp, moo. Chirp, chirp, moo. The wind is starting up again. Come down from there, Moo Moo. You're going to get blown away. Chirp, chirp. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Hang on. 